Hello, my name is David. I'm one of the instructional designers here at Valencia. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the bulk delete tool, how you can use it, and why you would want to use it. The bulk delete tool allows you to delete entire areas of the class or the whole class together at once. For example, let me show you. In this course, I have several discussion forums. Let's say that I changed my mind and I want to change what's there. I want to get rid of all of them. I could go ahead and delete one of them at a time manually, or I could use the bulk delete tool. This will be much faster and much easier. Let me show you how it's done. If we scroll down in our course, we have the control panel on the lower left hand corner. We will click on packages and utilities and select bulk delete. The bulk delete screen is now going to give us a list of all the different areas in the class. In this example, like I said, I only want to delete the discussions area of the class. So in the bulk delete screen, I would scroll down and find the discussion board. I put a check mark next to it. I scroll all the way down, and I have to type delete as a confirmation. Notice that it, that is delete with a capital D, D as in delete. I click Submit. It processes, and I will come back to a confirmation screen. You can see at the top, we have a green bar that says, success, bulk delete operation completed. I'm going to show you how if I go back to the discussion screen, it is blank. All of my discussion boards are gone. So this was much faster than just going one at a time. Another example of when you would like to use the uh, bulk delete tool would be if you are getting your class ready for the next term, and by mistake, you copy the wrong course into the class. Uh, here comes the bulk delete tool to the rescue. Again, all you need to do is scroll down in the class, in the control panel, go to Packages and Utilities, and select Bulk Delete. This time, since I want to delete everything in the class, I'm going to select all of the checkboxes. That's all except for one of them. Let me show you. Here we have the, the first section has all my content areas. So in this case, I'm going to select all of the checkboxes in my content area because I want to delete all of the content in the class. And now we get to section two. In section two, normally you want to select all of the checkboxes except for users. That is because if you select users, you are going to also delete the students in the class. If you delete the students in the class, the students will lose access to it. Now, if by mistake you select that box, it's okay, just send us an email, and we will work with the banner programmers to get the students reloaded back into the class. But normally, you would just select all of the checkboxes except for users. And again, just like before, we have to type the word delete with a capital D as a confirmation. We click Submit. And now the system is deleting all of the areas in the class. When it's done, we will once again receive a confirmation screen with a green bar at the top that says that the operation was successful. Now you can go ahead and load another class in, into, into this one, or you can just start from scratch, whatever you prefer. You can see here that the success bulk delete operation completed message appeared. And you can see like if I go to the content area, in my course, it should be completely blank. There shouldn't be anything in it because we just did the bulk delete. You can see the folder is empty. So as you can see, the bulk delete tool is very easy, but it's very powerful. So just be careful with what you select. And if you have any questions or you have any problems with that, please go ahead and stop by one of the learning technology centers or send us an email or give us a call. Thank you very much.